Hello friends, today we are going to learn to color different graphs or color graphs that we plot in origin lab. As we can see here, these are certain graphs that I have plotted in origin lab and they all have same color. In order to give different colors to different graphs, what we do is we can directly click, double click on this particular plot and then manually change the color of each when it is grouped, what you need to do is you just need to change the line color by one and what you have is a set of colors that is already available and just click apply and you get here when they are grouped. When they are not grouped, then you can individually or when they are independent, you can individually change the color of each particular line and have the colors to each particular graph. This is well known or this is normal that we do. But what if we need to change or we need to have certain colors for certain areas of the graph? So for this, what we need to do is we'll go to line here and we'll go to color by points. When we go here, we can see a color list which is either classic or we can have different colors that are available here. Okay. Using this particular color schemes, we can color them. It is already colored single uh, single point, but now here what we have is we have different color options. When we click on indexing, here we have certain options based on the wavelength that is on the x-axis we have wavelength so we can color them based on the x-axis or on the y-axis. But for certain reasons we cannot use this y-axis but we can have x-axis as we can see here wavelength apply. Once we click apply each individual point is having a single color and each all the graphs are having such kind of a color which is usually not useful for us and if we click here we can see the graphs gets vanished. So the second option that we have is direct RGB here also what we can do is we can select the wavelength and the colors in different sections will appear to be different or they are grouped based on the wavelength and we can see certain areas colored differently. Further what we have is we have color mapping based on wavelength once we color select this we can see here we have got sections which are divided based on the wavelength. Certain wavelengths are co colored with red and other. Here the color scheme got changed. We can have the classic here and we can have the same color scheme that we used earlier. That is black on the lower side and green on the higher side of the spectrum. Further what we can do is we can change the value y value color mapping. Here it is x value color mapping here we can uh, if we select the column b what we see is all the graphs turn to be black so it's only used for uh, x axis color mapping and we can have different colors using this color mapping but to have y value color mapping you can click here and apply and here you can see that different heights have different colors or the same height the regions with same height will have the same color and you can differentiate them or you can have certain areas or you can differentiate them based on the color the heights can be differentiated and we can have it with the lowest part with black in color and the highest part with green in color even what we can do is we can change the uh, color scheme or the colors that are arranged here and based on that we can have different colors even we can add some colors or we can change them according to our need further increment from we can change the increment from and click apply so the increment will change for the same that we had initially for indexing indexing using wavelength but just the only thing that happened was it started from red not from the black so thank you for watching this video
and also subscribe our subscribe our channel to watch more such videos thank you